Hey guys. All right, we are live. I hope. I think I got it all together this week. Okay, so uh, according to last week's poll, we wanted to do Marcel and Hawthorne. So that is what we have set up here. Um, and again, if you go into the group, you will see the picture there and waiting for you. Let me see if I can get this situated over here. Okay. This is what professionalism looks like, people. Me screwing up. Okay. So this one, I think I might have bit off a little too much for this one. Um, there's a lot of detail in it, and it's probably going to take a little while. I can hear myself. Hold on a second. There we go. All right. So it looks like our lag is kind of crappy, but it's Sunday. What are we going to do? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I have this, I think this uh, palette comes with um, Procreate, this campfire palette. And I thought that would be pretty epic to use for this one because I want to kind of go for like the painted valley type of look. So that's what we're going to try to do. And as always, I am copying my, um, I'm highlighting my selections. Wow, get it together, Jen. And I want to do like, kind of like the one we did with uh, Toby and Marguerite. I want to do like a bit of the scattered color of the stone thingies. I English great, don't I? So we're going to do them in blocks, pieces at a time. Yeah, I think this one's going to take a little while. The saving grace is going to be that Marcel is not going to take that long because, well, it's a skeleton. And there's not a whole lot of color there if I don't want to get creepy. Hello, hello. Oh, gosh, this lag is looking pretty epic, isn't it? All right, we're going to press on because that's what we do. So if you guys say something and I don't respond right away, it's because the lag is a expletive. And we're just going to go with that. So I'm just doing like a basic, like a rust kind of shade here. And then I'm going to come in with a black and do the shadows. What is that noise? I don't want that noise. Hold on, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I got a new mixer and... I did a video early, earlier today that came out so freaking amazing, but it's still a learning process. So there we go. Hey, Mandy. Yay, I'm glad that you're on. I probably should have... Um, colored all the rocks first but shoulda and did are obviously two different things in my world so we'll just do this and then I'm going to go back to that campfire palette maybe we'll go with a little lighter shade this time And I know these look stark, like, okay, those two colors wouldn't be next to each other in nature, but I'm going to mess with them, so don't worry. So I had a moment today that I feel the need to share. So I know that for a lot of us, weekends really don't mean much. <laughs> Not for everybody, but for a lot of us, like for me, you know, because school's out, you know, our day to day life 
hasn't really changed a whole lot. I mean, add a whole shitload more of anxiety, but there you go. But I seriously, today, Lachlan, my son Lachlan, told me that it was Sunday. And I was like, yeah, okay. You know, didn't even think anything of it. And then I went, whoa, did another week just go by? And then I was like, crap, did I plan next week? It's like... My time is just so jacked up, like way more jacked up than normal. I don't, I don't know y'all this. I won't say that I'm not cut out for quarantine because, you know, I'm one of the, I was quarantining before it was cool crowd, but, but this is a lot. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's weird. Everything is weird. And I think that's what's making it worse. But yeah, so tomorrow's Monday. What? And I will tell you right now, the only thing distinctive about Mondays, as far as my house goes, because again, school is out, is that I have Skype meeting with Amber every Monday. And that's the only reason that I have to stop and think, is it Monday? Because nothing else really freaking happens. I mean, I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's weird. So that was my rant. I'm boring. So I'm kind of going going in a uh, Arizona direction. Anyone who has been to old AZ might recognize this style of, you know, like rock formations. I should probably start including some of these too. Nope, that's good. Okay. This one was really fun to draw because I was like, screw it. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of rocks here. Oh, hey, Neva, I see you there. Did I just got a notice like maybe 10 minutes ago that um, there was a new podcast episode that came out? Was that yours? Because I saw it and I was like, wait, is that Neva's podcast? Because I thought it was. And at this point, I'm just kind of throwing color around. There's not really rhyme or reason to this part the difference will come in with the shading later. Whoops. This is a lot of rock layers, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, that's too bold. Too bold. Too boring. Let's see if we can get a little more brownage. There we go. I am so lagged, I think. I am. Wow. Okay. I'm looking because I have my screen over here to the side where I'm watching the comments. Oops. Where did I just put that? And uh, it's it's a ways back on that picture. <laughs> but that's okay. So um, if you guys didn't know, I do... I. I do. I suck at it, but I do post the replays on the YouTube channel. So if the quality sucks ass here, then you can always catch it there. Okay. Almost done with these first round O rocks. Oh, you did? Oh, good. Okay. I thought so. All 
All right, last two, last two. Okay, there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all the shaded layers together. Are these shades? Yeah. Because these ones don't matter if they're connected. Like so. Pinch. Okay, so now that I have all of just the colored layers, I can just select one like that and then go in with the darker colors. Person, you know, I'm not trying to say. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. You know, Neva, <laughs> I'm going to say it. You have some incredible patience with some of the people on your friends list, girl. I do not. Trying to give these like a harsher edge. Not quite that harsh. There we go. He's pretty. You know what? I'm just going to do some highlight while I have these guys selected. Go. Oh, that's turning out pretty. Okay, so we did those ones. Now we'll do these ones. There we go. Okay, so what's something interesting that has happened, people? Oh shit, I just did that on the same layer. That's interesting. <sighs> it's all right, we're gonna keep it. So you guys might notice that I'm a little quieter than normal today. That's because, as we all know, Jenna has a big fat mouth and likes to spill the beans on stuff and there is a big can of beans out there that I cannot open so I'm trying to be good even though I'm not good at it and not just blab because there's some awesome stuff happening behind the scenes that I can't talk about yet but I am really excited so you guys need to distract me 
patients while speaking directly to them. Oh, girl, girl. I, I, I commend your patience with those people. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because I don't have that level of patience that you do. Oops, that didn't work. What didn't... Shoot, I forgot to highlight. Okay. We got this. There we go. We're getting somewhere with that little dimension. So I was watching before I got on my computer. I was watching Corpse Bride. Like, oh, is this already colored? Did I hear Jesus Slayer? No? Why are you staying lit like that? Okay, anyways. So I was watching Corpse Bride. I haven't watched this in a long time. The first time I saw it was in the drive-in in Arizona. Um, I don't know if they still have the drive-ins in Arizona, but I think they have them here. I don't know if they're open now because, you know, all the social distancing and stuff. But this was a movie that when you saw it at the drive-in, you better have seen it on a night that was not a full moon because I saw it on the night that was a full moon and I didn't see a whole lot of the movie because it is so dark. Like, not like, oh, well, it's kind of spooky dark too, but no, like, the cinematography is really dark. So on a drive-in, <laughs> you can't see the screen very well. But I got the movie on DVD because hello Tim Burton and I just love it it's one of my favorites so then what made me think of that is I have one of the songs stuck in my head these rocks are looking pretty bitchin and we're almost done with them thank goodness that's the same layer Spill that. No, I cannot yet spill the beans. All the behind the scenes crap has to get done first. Did I seriously only do two rocks on this layer? Well, that was ambitious. Okay, there we go. We did it. So now I'm going to merge all of the shade layers together and then all of the colored layers together. That way if I have to change something shaded later, I'm not deleting a colored layer to do it. Is that it? I'm missing one. There we go. Okay, so our friend, the sky. It seems like we always have the hardest time with the sky. Last, was it last week that I tried to go brighter? Or was it the week before? I think it was last week because I did Shay. Yeah, we're not doing that this week because that was stressful. And Corpse Bride rocks. Caleb and Lachlan really like it, too. Oh, I love the purple. They really like it, too. And uh, they... My kids are weird, though. They rarely call movies by their names. Like, for Corpse Bride, they always say, let's watch Emily. Oops, that's the same color, dumbass. They always say, let's watch Emily. And I'm like, okay, let's do that. I need to focus because I grabbed the wrong paintbrush. And then I grabbed the wrong color. And then I grabbed the wrong paintbrush again. There we go. Come 
want some color to be coming to, damn it. All right, hold on. Through there. And then I say we do some cloudage elements. Here. Oh, it's so pretty. So back to the lights. Oh, it's so cold in here. I know I'm like the biggest wuss ever, but it's cold here. Aw, I love it, and I haven't even done the critters yet. Should probably do the critters now. Oh, we got that noise again. What is that? There we go. Okay, so I want to stick with like a sandy color, but then I'm going to like texturize the crap out of it. So let's start with the noise brush because I want it to have like that sandy kind of not that dark there girlfriend that sandy kind of situation there we go and then we'll go in and shade it a little bit Yeah, Kate, mine, they call um, cars with Lightning McQueen. They call it Chow. Come on, Mommy, let's watch Chow. I don't know that they call any movie by its name, except Turbo, because the character's name is the title of the movie. But yeah, it's always, and like uh, Planes, if you remember Planes, they call that one uh, Crop Hopper, which I'm sorry, but that sounds like a bad word. And then, uh, oh, there's so many. Oh, they call um, Teen Wolf the Michael J. Fox movie. Yes, they've seen the Michael J. Fox movie. They just call that one Scotty. Maybe they just call them by their names, except for Lightning McQueen one. That one they just call Chow. And that's because he says ka -chow. There we go. And then I think we should try to do a little bit of, like, luminance, like, coming out of this hole. So let's see what this one would look like. Oh, that's not very bright at all, is it? Nope, don't love it. Nope. Okay, let's go back to our critters. All right, Marcel. <laughs> let's uh, color you. This should, I don't know, guys, this one, this one might take a little while. Oh, yep, that, mm-hmm. Tough stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know how we got through that. That was hard. But I do need to do his eyes. ka -chow's. Right? Yeah, exactly. Holds? What are holds? Are you swearing at me? I love adding these little uh, shader eyes. They just make them look so cute. They look like the little chibi eyes that are like all, mm. I love that. Thank you. Hey, Diamond. We just went through the trauma of coloring Marcel. 
You know, I mean, I don't know how we managed because obviously this one took some, this took some, some work here. But I think I'll go for broke and just try to give him a little bit of dimension. Well. So I was, um, that top part was wrong. I was watching, uh, what is it? Net, not Netflix, a Amazon Prime, the Amazon Prime video. I was scrolling through the Amazon Prime video app. And uh, do you know what movie I came across? Do you guys remember the movie Splash with Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah? Oh, my God. That movie. Okay. That movie alone. Bear in mind, I grew up in Arizona. You know, it was very, like, not New York City. And this movie takes place in New York City. <laughs> and I, I really, really wanted to be, like, shopping at Bloomingdale's. <laughs> I've never been to a Bloomingdale's. I don't even know if there still is a Bloomingdale's, but that movie made me want to made me want to be worthy of shopping at Bloomingdale's. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore, but that movie made me think it was. <laughs> so I, w I watched it again and it's really cute. It's a really cute movie. I mean, John Candy. Oh my God, that man. There's a scene in this movie where he, um, he's got, uh, they're him and Tom Hanks, they're brothers and they're playing racquetball and he's all, uh, he really sucks at it. Right. Because he's, you know, really out of shape. I mean, he's John Candy playing John Candy. And he, he tells, uh, you know, they're talking about Madison, which is Daryl Hannah and, um, Tom Hanks, his characters, they don't know she's a mermaid. But Tom Hanks' character is like, you know, you're in love with her and you're afraid to admit it and blah, blah, blah. And Tom Hanks' character is like, no, you're stupid. You're just talking smack or whatever. And totally irrelevant to the scene. But it cracked me up so hard was they went back to playing the game. Very first time serving the stupid ball, John Candy, he whacks it really hard comes down, smacks him right in the forehead, and this however many pound man hit the ground like a ton of bricks. I laughed so hard. I was like, oh my God, not only was it hysterical the way he did it, but it is something I would do. If anyone's going to get whacked in the forehead with a ball, it's me. It is me. I admit it. Oh God, I laughed so hard. That was a totally irrelevant story. But if you haven't seen Splash, you guys, or if you haven't seen it in a long time, go for it. It's on Amazon Prime for like if you have Prime, then you can watch it for free. Oh, man, did I laugh hard. And it was needed. It was like a needed laugh. So I'm giving Hawthorne a little bit of like ear dimension here. And I'm kind of here for it. So I want to do... These little feet, not pink. Just a little, little shady feet covered up by his big head. And then, of course, we have to do the little cute eyes. Is that too big? Yup. See, it just adds so much. Uh, I'm going to say it so much character to the character. Look at it. It's so cute. Marcel looks like he's over here stargazing, not even paying attention. Same dude. Okay. So I want to do a little, a little bit of something. Just like maybe by the ears. Am I not on the right layer? Nope. <laughs> Yay. There we go. And then maybe we'll do like a lighter little patch too. Lighter girl. Come on. There 
There we go. So cute. So, okay, here's my dilemma. I think Marcel might need to be darker because right now he's the brightest thing on this page and my eyes are just going right over there. So I think let's go and experiment with this brightening slider. See if we can like, because they're outside, it's dark, right? So he wouldn't be like glowing white. Maybe we'll do that and then, where's that bone color? I'm totally justifying my drawing right now. We can just add some highlights to him instead of making him all white. That looks more realistic to me. Oh, it's cute. All right, guys, I dig it. Oh, we forgot our vignette. Can't forget our signature vignette. What's this? Nothing. Okay, it's going here. There we go. Okay, so check this out, you guys, look. Did I push it? I don't think I pushed it. There we go, look at them all! This has got to be my favorite Procreate menu. I love looking at this so much. Well, like, seriously, it's probably stupid, but like all of my little characters, like as I'm drawing them, as I'm creating them, they all have little backstories in my head. And so like, you know, I talked about this, I think last week, but doing environmental stuff is totally new for me. I'm not used to this, but putting them into these little environments kind of solidifies their backstories for me. I know it's weird. I'm weird. That's okay. But I just love this so much. It's like a little picture book, like a little peek at what they're doing. And I love how all the pictures, you've got either two or three characters together. And then Sassy Frog is sitting by himself like, bitch, go away. <laughs> Sassy is definitely the chaotic neutral of the alignment chart. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. But this is what? Nine? I gotta go back. Yep, number nine. Wow. Three more and we'll have our calendar pages. So this one, I was thinking of this calendar thing in my head, right? When I was like, what am I gonna draw this week? I don't know what to do. And I was like, ooh, if I do something like deserty, then it can be like a um, summer month. You know, like I could put that in like, July or August and then I was like well you know it's yellow is just not my thing you guys I, I'm not a big fan of like bright yellows but I was like okay so I can do like a nighttime desert kind of a thing and that'll be totally summery because to me you didn't go out during the day in the summer where I'm from here you're like summer I'm like, Summer, where's my jacket? I literally was outside this morning in a blanket, not going to lie. But so this one I'm going to do probably for like July or August. But we've only got three more weeks. And then we'll have enough coloring pages to make a calendar. That's so cool. I'm going to have it printed too. You just watch. I'm excited. All right, folks, so that's going to be our stream today. <sighs> Before I spill any beans, I am going to peace out. I have the Corpse Bride to finish watching, and then I'm going to hit the hay. Because no, What time is it? After the Corpse Bride, I'm not going to bed at 6. But then I'm going to hit the hay because tomorrow is a busy day. So... Thank you for sticking around, you guys. I had fun. This one turned out prettier than I thought it would. 
And yeah, I'll see you, I don't know, tomorrow sometime. Okay, bye. <laughs>